The Speaker of the East African Parliament, Margaret Ziwa, has today ceased to be Speaker of the East African Parliament as majority MPs threw her out of office. The House sitting in Arusha saw 36 members of the 39 vote against her, two opposed with one abstaining. The session was chaired by Ugandan MP to the regional parliament Chris Opoka, who assumed the chair since Ziwa's 21 suspension pending a probe of abuse of office and lack of professionalism. Another Ugandan legislator, Mukasambide, who had previously stood by the embattled Ziwa's side, broke ranks as the tide swung irreversibly against her. They determined that, I think, a coup had to be administered so that they would conclusively deal with the matter. As the MPs rallied to impeach Ziwa on grounds of misconduct, abuse of office and disrespect, Nusra Tiperu, who two years ago nominated Ziwa for the position of speaker, said, quote, We love the speaker, but we love East Africa more. It has reached a time we make a decision for the people of East Africa. Ziwa's nemesis, Biamukama, was the first to cast the impeachment vote. Ziwa herself was not present. On Tuesday, the East African Court of Justice dismissed Ziwa's application seeking to prevent the regional parliament from meeting to decide her fate. She has since her suspension argued that the move was illegal. The court's argument was that she failed to prove the irreparable justice the sitting could cause her. In Kampala, news of the removal from office was received with mixed reactions. The mistakes that were committed in, 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 in Arusha, if at all they are there, should not be re repeated. Because should anybody repeat this, those same mistakes? We will get a similar problem. We are fighting yours. You are pulling down your own. And it goes back to the country. And they have paid the price of dishonesty and lack of clean politics, even at regional level. The House convenes on Friday to elect a new speaker. More research all in TV.